is really, in my opinion, gonna be gonna be the best for Sheik. Because getting those earlier kills on heavyweights matters a lot. When Sheik's main enemy in this matchup is that rage. So let's see how um how Glinny is gonna play this. Already seeing a very, very defensive playstyle, retreating to the platform. Charging off that waft. And the rudest of dash attacks, just two in a row, catching that landing, up being out, Gluttony, he's not real, he's not going slow whatsoever, and... Just utilized once again, yeah. three of them in a row, and a great catch on the get up with that bite. Once again, we see Gluttony just so good at maintaining that advantage, yep. he is absolutely relentless once he gets that hit. And look at that down tilt once again, putting so much pressure on the opponent. And nice combo, and that's wow. actually gonna finish it. Falling neutral air into that up air, that up air, very, really, really good move. And it was even better in Brawl, that's crazy. Thing. Oh yeah, Brawl, <laughs> Brawl up air was majestic, <laughs> to say the least. However, in this case, Jackie very happy with playing it slowly. Whoa, the passing fishes off the bike instead of Wario. That was so smart by Glinny. The instant reaction going for the bike, absorbing that hit. Did he have to... Oh no, he used another bike because that one was off screen. Yeah. So Wario has one bike on the stage and then... Oh, one bike on the ground and then one bike in the air. So that's why you can see him pull out two bikes every so often. And what Glinny does really well is that whenever he uses his bike, he either leaves it on stage and uses it as a setup, or is going straight off the stage into the blast zone so he can use it again as soon as possible. Yeah, exactly. And it's very impossible to know your, your setups for that and to know the spacing and when the bike can move off stage comfortably. Jackie in the meantime evening up the stock count and already got a nice early percentage combo. Getting those footstool combos as well and no bike out of the combo once oh, again. this is amazing. What a punish by Jackie. Isn't able to put it all the way though. A lot of damage here though. 61. And that lead that Glidney had nowhere to be seen right now. Oh, the fart huh. on the bike. Ill-advised recovery by, uh, by Jackie right there. Glidney, I mean... To be fair, most characters wouldn't have made it back to the stage to punish that up B. However, Wario does have that amazing airspeed, mm -hmm. allowing him to make it all the way back and getting that waft on Jackie's final stock. And that's going to be 1-0 for Glutiny in Loser's Finals here. Game 2, this time moving to the final destination. Of course, we know that... Disney is an advocate of the stage, but it seems in this matchup, so is Ho. Those footstool combos become ever more reliable, not having to concern himself with any For platforms sure. that may obstruct him. I mean, you talked about this before the first game, right? If it was up to Jackie, he would have been okay with Final Destination. Yep. And here we can see him counterpicking it, so it's actually Glutney, in this case, who's not a fan. Punishing that, that bike grab, and that bike grab does take a lot of time, because it does count as a heavy item. That is going to add a little bit of lag to the grab of the item. Yeah. So those back airs, he doesn't use them too often, but he always places them incredibly well. Just to get a yeah. nice chunk of damage or to get the kill in the certain cases as well. Oh, and look at Jackie covering so many options and... Woo! That was nearly a stage spike. Blue Nevo. Strong position still. I'm loving these sort of beefy teleports yep. coming out from uh, from Ho and Sheik, just to prevent uh, just prevent that uh, easy catch on the ledge from uh, Gluttony. Oh, and the turnaround on the turnaround bike is gonna on add the bike so taking, much knockback. Yes, taking Ho stock out first, in fact, and. That's just one of Wario's specialties, right? Um, you think he's got a kill with the Wafts, but he's got so many kill options that just come out of seemingly nowhere. But if he does hit one of those, that is going to be such a, an important part of his wow. game plan. However, really Jackie, questionable DI on that. Yeah. Coming out from 
most likely trying to DI away out of a potential combo. Instead, DI is into the blast yep. zone. And there is the full waft on deck. Super armor. And let's see how Gluni is going to make that happen because this is Final Destination after all. I don't know if his uh, confirms still work at 45%, but I'm pretty sure that a falling up air will do it. Nair, no jab lock. Tries to read the jump with that third fair. No cigar though. Now once again, Ho giving himself some space to build those needles yep. so I can really catch out uh, Gluttony off guard. Ooh. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure Jackie wanted to jab there. But then, because the bike is on the ground, all your tilts and jabs just kind of don't work because when you press A, you pick up the bike. Yeah. Um, so very, very nice by Gluttony. Instantly recognizing that Jackie was stuck in an animation, capitalizing on it, getting the punish. Ooh, the bite. Oh, oh a bad. A very, very bad miss input. Yeah. Yep. No other way to put it. And that Wario off smash is one of his more surprising moves. Um, Wario, after all, he's part of the Mushroom Kingdom. Mm -hmm. He's part of the invincible head of Smash crew. Yep. Uh, together with all his friends. Uh, and Yoshi as well, for the record. Um, so, yeah, that is going to be a, a strong, strong punish right there. And Gluttony gonna go up 2-0 versus Jackie here in losers finals. Let's see if Jackie um if Jackie can clean up his gameplay and make this happen. Nice little combo of 28. Ooh. Once again, but doesn't actually get the follow-up. There we go, gets it this time. Into a nice bouncing fish. Nair not gonna connect on these low, low percents without rage. Such a dominating game so far from Jackie. That was a beautiful read on that air dodge, but a little bit off on the positioning to get the punish. And while those bites are very potent at hitting the opponent, after they hit, there's very, very little reward for Wario. Mm -hmm. And that really is one of the, you know, one of the main things that you see Gluttony abuse is if you want to play around his strong pokes, you got to open yourself up to his confirms. Yeah. And that's exactly what you don't want to do. So either you let him whittle away at your percentages or you play a more assertive game. However, you open yourself up to those kind of confirms. Mm -hmm. And that's a hard choice to make, especially when it's Gluttony because he's constantly forcing you to make it. And wow, the raw bouncing fish, but still not enough to take the stock, even though over 130%. Woo! Meanwhile, that back air taking that stock out at around 100. Up smash is not the only hat that hurts, and the spike oh, is gonna get it. Wow, what a wow. wild finish! The rage yeah. bolt hit spike, taking out Ho's final stock and eliminating him from the tournament in third place. The rage spike, Lawas. That was a heartbreaker. That was nuts. <laughs> I have never seen something like that happen. Not for... Not in this game anyway. And Not for this character. Yeah. And while there...